Hi guys, welcome back to Shop Customizer video series. I'm Milad and this is video number two and we're going to talk about the product list. If you're following along from the previous video, that's fine. Otherwise, I suggest you pause this video and watch the Shop Customizer overview video first and then come back. Okay, so we have our WooCommerce site set up, we know our way around Shop Customizer basics, and now let's explore the product list. So here I'm inside the customizer, and on the right I have the default WooCommerce shop page. If I click on shop and then product list, I can see different styles and settings. Let's start with the settings tab. Here I can choose to have a left or a right sidebar for this shop page. You can edit the content of this sidebar by going to WordPress dashboard, appearance, widgets, and modify the content inside WooCommerce shop widget area section. To learn more about the sidebars and widget areas, check out this tutorial. I revert this back to no sidebar. Here we can toggle this option to have the page as full width. And for the product thumbnail hover style, we can either display the hover image to be pulled from the product image gallery or choose to have a zoom effect. Here's what it looks like when I choose zoom. In product info section, I can toggle different information. As you can see, the options are product name, regular price, sale price, add to cart button, and rating. It's possible to set the alignment of them as well. There is also an option to set the image ratio. This is what 9 by 16 looks like, and this is how 3 by 4 looks like. In grid settings, you can edit the number of rows and columns. And here it's possible to define the horizontal and vertical spacing between products. As I've mentioned in the previous video, you can play around with different options and then use this button to restore the settings tab to default values. Okay, let's move on to Styles tab. To customize the box, click this button. As you can see, we can apply a background color, adjust the radius, or even add a border. We're not seeing the border because the default color is white. So let's change it, and here it is. It's also possible to set the different margins and paddings for the box. You can click here to restore the default styles for the box, or you can close and publish to save the changes for front end. In name dialog, you can choose a different font family for the product name, change its size, font weight, formatting, and color. Margin settings are available as well. In regular price and sale price, we have the similar options for font formatting and margins. For the add to cart button dialog, we can show or hide the cart icon, and other than the previous similar options, we can change the style for the hover state of the button. So here's the text color, this is the button color, this is the border color, which we should also give it a width in order to see it. And this is the color of the shopping cart icon. So if I change it to pink, it'll be pink when I mouse over it. And here we have the similar settings for margin and padding. Okay, let's move on to out of stock badge dialog. And again, here we have the similar styles for font formatting, text color, border color and width, margins, and the radius. And if you're seeing a color like this, it simply means the alpha for this color is zero, as here we can see the out of stock badge has a transparent background color. So I can easily increase it to be fully opaque and then change it to my desired color. We have similar settings for the sale badge, just like what we had for the out of stock badge. And here in rating dialog, you can change the star size and colors. Again, we can set the margins here as well. Okay, before we wrap up, just remember that if you use this button which is inside the styles dialog, you will restore all of these styles to their default values. If you wanted to restore only one style, use the restore button inside that style. And that's how we can style the product list. In the next video, we'll go over the settings and style for the product page. Okay, see you soon.